Hey everyone, this is Arlen Cherry. Welcome to episode 196 of the Daily 3-Minute Mantra Podcast, where we come back to the present moment for just three minutes, sing a Sanskrit mantra, connect with our voice and our body. Today is the sacral chakra. We're doing a chakra series. Go back to episode 191 to start with the crown chakra, because we're almost done now. This is the sacral chakra. And um, this is from my teacher, Leanna Shanti, with info about the sacral chakra. It is orange. And before I forget, it's located kind of around your navel area, your belly button. And the musical note of the sacral chakra is D. It has to do with the power to act creatively and deals with sexuality and finances and personal identity and your emotional boundaries. Some fears of the sacral chakra are loss of self-control, being controlled by others, your loss of physical power. So you can look at if I had an injury and could never do this physical thing again, does that scare me? Um, Does that mean I wouldn't be or have as much fun or be as valuable? Another fear, um, and fear, Leanna says, can also be masked by anger. Um, And ultimately, what we're trying to get to is that you know that you, that no one can control you because you are sovereign. Um, Wound healing, it always comes back to wound healing, to regaining your authority and your power because we get that from... Um, typically being raised as a kid with authoritarian parents who say this is how you have to do things. Um, And Leanna just talked about that in Illuminations recently. Um, You know, teachers, we learned that all growing up that we just have to do this just because I say, I'd say so, you know. Uh, So this is what the chakra deals with. So um, I wrote just going with what is and... um, And if you know that you only have control over your own life, you, no one can control who you are. And that's another thing we learned with wound healing is that we only can control ourselves in our own healing. We can't force other people to heal. And so healing your own self is how ultimately that you do help others and reflect that back to them. You be the unconditional love. I guess, um, sorry, I didn't separate this one into strengths, but... Um, some, so you can just <laughs> determine which of these are strengths, but it also deals with utilizing your sexual energy in a direct and intentional manner. So, um, so those are just some ideas. So it, it deals with those things. And then for finance, I know I mentioned financial, so it, because finances and abundance are related to creativity. So you can focus on, look and see where your phone, um, yep. There it is. Creativity and abundance go hand in hand. So when the chakra is strong, generally your creativity and your abundance is strong. Um, I do, I've gotten a little better about creativity. I don't know. You know, I've, I don't, I don't have a lot to say of that. My abundance is pretty good. It's, it's improved a lot uh, along with my creative creativity and being open. So, um, and I've started to like the color orange. I don't know. I didn't really like the color orange a lot. So, but I'm starting to come um, get used to it. So anyway, the sacral chakra is the note D. And the Bija mantra for the sacral chakra is VAM, spelled V-A-M, V, and V-A-M, and it's pronounced VAM. So here we go. Three minutes. VAM. Vam, 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 vam. Vam, 
three minutes thank you for joining me and i will sing with you tomorrow for the final chakra the root chakra